Picture this. No more manual processes in that first critical step of the sales cycle. You can effortlessly make sure that deals and leads are assigned to the right person at the right time. So you're probably wondering how to get started, right? You can find our automatic assignment functionality over here in settings. From there, you can easily configure the tool and set up your custom rules. It works for newly created deals or leads from any source, import, API, or manual, as well as existing deals that are moved to a new stage or pipeline. Now, all right, let's say you've got a pretty sweet market-based setup going with your sales team. This means that your sales reps or teams are specifically assigned to certain industries to serve. And you've got this industry custom field added to your organization. Now, what if you want deals from a specific industry to be automatically assigned to the relevant sales rep? All you gotta do is select the deal added event and then define your conditions and assignee. For example, let's say you're dealing with the education industry. In that case, you'd want the deal to be assigned to Chase because he's responsible for that market. Just an example. But hey, maybe you want to assign the opportunity to someone on a specific team rather than an individual. No problem. Just keep in mind that you'll need to have the Teams feature enabled to do this. When a deal matches the conditions of your rule, it'll be assigned to a user in that team in a sequential order. Now keep in mind though that distribution isn't based on a per user basis. So if users are in more than one team, they're gonna end up with more deals at the end of the day. Now let's say that the deal you're working on already has an existing organization or person associated with it. In that case, you could totally choose to assign the deal to the existing organization or person owner. But for now, let's just stick with Chase, okay? Last but not least, you're gonna need to name your rule and add a description, and of course, activate it. You can choose to activate it right away by ticking this checkbox, or you can save the rule and activate it from the list view by a toggle. Now any deals with the education industry will automatically be assigned to Chase. Just keep in mind though that the system will wait about 10 seconds before evaluating an assignment, just in case there is other automation, such as that from the automations feature, that will influence the rule by changing or adding some fields or something like this. You can set up the same rules for newly created leads as well. Now let's take a look at another example that's pretty helpful. What if you've got different teams working on different stages of your pipeline? For instance, let's say instead Chase seals the deal with a prospect and moves it to the invoice stage. You'd want it to be reassigned to someone on the finance team, right? Just follow these easy steps. First, create a new rule. This time, choose Deal Updated as the event. Then pick the pipeline and stage the deals move to and start adding some conditions. Say you've got several finance teams split by territories. No worries. Just use the custom field that identifies the market and assign the EMEA deal to someone from the EMEA finance team. Then it's the same flow as before, so no need to worry about anything new. And voila, you're done. Now when the deal hits the invoice stage, the rule gets triggered and the deal gets automatically reassigned from Chase to Stacy, a member of the EMEA finance team. All right, so once you've got a bunch of rules created, you can totally manage all of them from one convenient spot. If you ever need to change the conditions or assignees for rules, no sweat. Just hit that edit button and you're good to go. Now, if you've got two or more rules for a particular entity and event, you'll need to set the priority for the system to follow in order to find the right match for an opportunity. This is super easy. Just click here and drag and drop the rules in the order you want them to be followed. The first rule on the list is considered to be the highest prioritized rule. So when a new deal is created, the feature will try to match it against the first rule on the list. If the criteria doesn't match, it'll move on down the line until a match is found. Just remember, the priority is only set for each entity and event. So rules for different entities and events aren't prioritized against each other. For example, the rules for lead created are only prioritized against one another, not against the deal created or updated. And if you're curious about which opportunities have or haven't been assigned, just head over to the History tab. Here you'll find a list of all opportunities that were automatically assigned to an owner. 
And if there are any opportunities that weren't automatically assigned because they don't match any rules or couldn't be assigned to that specific assignee, you'll see them here too. And that's about the size of it, everybody. To sum it all up, with the automatic assignment functionality, you can assign leads while they're hot, route leads to the right rep, and hand off deals to keep the ball rolling. 